Hello and welcome back to my channel. This channel is about me trying to live a self-reliance life and part of it is hunting. And um, it's not all about hunting, there's also gardening and um, a bit of fishing as well. Anyway, so recently, about six weeks ago, we went to fill up our freezer and now um, and now our freezer is half full which is not too bad but I reckon I'll go out today and do a hunt and try to fill up the freezer again it's just one of those things which I which I like to have so just imagine this imagine you open up your wallet and you see $20 note or you open up your wallet and you see $200. Which one would you rather have? Me personally, I'd rather have the $200 bill in my wallet. Same with the car. I'd rather jump in the car and see it full rather than seeing it empty. So, I want to go and do a hunt. And half of it is about location. Um, if you've got a good location you'll be more successful. I live in Hamilton around the Waikato and hunting around here is very, uh, not very good. It's very hard to hunt around um, the Waikato area. Today I'm driving about three hours, probably a bit more than what I want. Normally two hours would be um, a good time, about three hours. But this location someone has sent to me, um, told me where to go, so I'm completely new to this location, and I want to go check it out. So yeah, just come with me and um, we'll see what's there. Just made the turn off to the right location, and it's, um, it's just about to get bright now, you can probably see it now on the camera few potholes on this road as expected, gravel road, so we'll see what happens. I'm definitely in the right area now, I made it. Um, it didn't quite take me three hours that I expected, um, took me a little bit quicker than I thought. Uh, uh, don't know how long it took because I did get lost earlier on, but I'm in the right place, it's got a warning sign for hunters, a guideline of the safety, just a reminder of the safety about hunting around this area. So it's just starting to brighten up now. I think in another 20 minutes I should be ready to go out and have a, a look around to see what's around. It's brighten up now. Tell you what, it is freaking cold here. Man, the temperature change. <clears throat> this is my first time being here, so I really don't know what I'm looking for or where to go. Just going to have a walk around, maybe I'll have a look in some of these pine bushes, maybe a few clearings and see if there's any signs or anything that's um, living around here. You can see something's been sleeping here or sitting down here, maybe feeding on the grass. That's the only thing that I can find so far. Well, the bushes are just way too thick to be walking through. Um, I've been walking around um, finding old, old like 4x4 four four tracks. And you can see some grass getting pushed down and some old um, 
animal prints around but nothing fresh and just walking around here is just way too thick you can't get anywhere I'll just head back to the ute and um, and just drive around some more see if there's a more open space area that I can have a look at I know that they're old prints but that's all I've got so far just old prints after trying to go into the bush which is too difficult you've got all these sharp thorns that's digging into your skin I decided just to walk these tracks it goes on a loop then I'll go back to my car and I'm just relying on luck now because it's just too thick to be stalking there are pig signs and deer signs around I thought that brown thing was deer. Have I seen deer on tracks like these before? Yes, I have. And can history repeat itself? Of course it can. Relying on lady luck. Nice little bit of nature walk here. Also some quail. Should I bring my slingshot? At least get something back home. Of course you're not, not allowed to shoot quail with slingshot, aren't you? Anyway, so... So far no good. Um, it's a nice walk, but I'm not here for a nice walk. And just starting to shower now. Still got plenty of time to look around and um, have a look at some more new sp spots around this area. So, not looking good unfortunately, but that's the uh, reality of it. I'm using the rifle today, but um, when the kids get back to school, I'll probably do more bow hunting. That will give me a little bit more time in the morning when they um, return back to school. And my goal for this year with the bow is to get one, at least one pig and one deer with the bow. Bow and arrow. So I'm looking forward to that. So I'll probably hunt in the raw to make it a little bit more successful, hopefully. And um, yeah, looking forward to that. Also going to try out some um, duck shooting as well. And yeah, just trying out new things. Okay, just made it out. Well, I covered a lot of areas by walking. And unfortunately, it wasn't very successful. Guarded because I thought I was going to get something to be quite honest. Just going to have lunch around here. Gonna see if anything pops up around here. I hope I've got this area right. Um, one of the um, comments were you'll come up to a grassy flat area and there's always deer here. That's what I got told. 
Well, we'll see. Nah, this can't be right. Looks too messy for them to be hanging around here. Let's um, check out this place. How am I supposed to find them around here? There's no doubt that they've been here moving around. They used this place uh, so long and those things are so tall can't see anything. I feel like I'm gonna stand on one soon or we'll come come across one soon. <laughs> Well, I'm not going back inside there again. There's heaps of these thorns here. They're just cutting you up. Well, cutting me up. Well, I think that's it. I'll call it a day. Um, I'm getting a bit tired just walking around and driving around trying to find um, some animals. Um, but I guess if you come here quite a bit, you might be able to see something. Um, but no luck for me today. Oh well, I have to try again another day. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.